Hello everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're gonna look at how SharePoint uses Office 365 groups. I'm gonna discuss why groups are important, how they came to be, and what other apps and services use them. And this is a talk that I've been giving a lot recently and it seems to help people understand SharePoint by explaining how they use groups. So you might be thinking, well, Office 365 groups and security and stuff like that has nothing to do with me. But actually, you're going to find out that it does have an impact on the work you do in SharePoint. Traditionally, there's been two types of group, security and email. Security gives you permissions or access to apps and services. So if you're a member of a security group, you could normally use something because of it. An email group is a group that allows you to receive emails sent to the group. When Microsoft built Office 365, they introduced a new type of group that only lived in Office 365. And basically what they wanted to do was combine these two types of groups into one. So now you only needed to be a member of one group and they called it the Office 365 group. Then they started to add things to the group. In order for a group to collaborate, they obviously need to have permissions to things, they need to receive emails, but they also need to have conversations. So Microsoft added a conversation service to that group. As well as conversations, people need to be able to share and create files when they collaborate. So they added a SharePoint site. So that means if you're a member of the group, you have access to the SharePoint site just by default. And if you're owner of the group, you're the owner of the SharePoint site. And if you're a member of the group, you're a member of the SharePoint site. A group would need a way to coordinate the work it does. So they added Planner. Then they started to add other apps and services like Microsoft Teams. And they added Yammer and Power BI. So the group becomes the thing you need to be a member of to get access to all these services. The other important thing to know from the SharePoint point of view is that when you create a new SharePoint team site, you create a new Office 365 group as well. So you can't have a SharePoint team site without an Office 365 group. So every time you create a new site, you get a new group. So that's your quick overview of Office 365 groups and why they're important for SharePoint. And if you like this video, then please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.